Welcome, Ravens flock. Back to another edition of the Ravens Roundup. This is Coach Evans with uh, week 14, part two of the Ravens Roundup. And in this version, I'm going to give you um, basically my reasons why we lost the game against Kansas City. Um, you see on the screen uh, like a stat sheet. And obviously, um, the main thing I want to show you is, well, I'll just do it like this. I put a post on uh, the Ravens subreddit. And the title of the post was, My Eight Reasons We Lost. And in parentheses, I got keyword, my, meaning my, in my opinion, the reasons we lost. And I'll read the post to you before I go into the video. Uh, my reasons for why we lost, and I have video later to go along with my reasons, which is obviously that's what we're doing now. Number one, we didn't win time of possession. Number two, uh, Eric Weddle missed the tackle on the third 19. Chiefs got the first down, and a few players later, they got a TD. So if we hold them to... A uh, field goal in that attempt, that's four points off the board. Number three, the no-look pass from Mahomes. And I put that like, put that on there, but not because of the no-look pass. It's because what happened after the pass. Uh, I think we had a fumble, a strip fumble that wasn't called or wasn't even looked at. But I, that's why I put uh, no-look pass in Mahomes, even though that was some good stuff. Number four, Mahomes threw a duck to heel because of the pressure that should have been picked off. But Father Time is hitting well. Number five, the offensive pass interference on Crabtree with 824 left in the game. That started a chain reaction. Uh, that penalty, then another penalty, followed by a drop pass. Had we stayed on schedule, we would have milked the clock for a late Tucker field goal. Uh, we did shut Casey down the next drive, though. Number six, uh, fourth and nine to Tyreek Hill conversion that led to a TD with 57 seconds left. Number seven, the Mahomes fumble and OT that we didn't pick up. And that's more so... Um, me just hoping we pick that up. Nothing the Ravens really did wrong then. And number eight, which I'm, I won't have film on this because it would be pretty much almost the whole game. A ton of missed tackles. And with that being said, let's get into the film. All right, right here you see um, you know, the stats up here. At the very bottom, you see time of possession. Time of possession. We know For the past three or four weeks, we've been blowing teams out of time of possession. The Chiefs beat us. 37 minutes even to 31 minutes and 27 seconds. I felt like we would have had to win time of possession in order to win this game. And if we had, I, I'm pretty sure we would have won the game. So as far as the video goes, this is the third and 19. You see it on the board, third and 19 with 428 left. This is Tyreek here, right here, running from the left side of the field going to the right. Marlon Humphreys is in chase mode, so we have... Uh, I think this is cover three with one here on Jimmy Smith. So we're trying to zone up Tyree Hill and go man to man with this guy, this receiver up here. And Hill gets a free release, which is never good. And just comes on over route. Now, at this point, he's Eric Weddle's guy because this guy's in man to man. And he he's here. And all we need to do is just stop him. Bam. That's where the play should end. They should get 18 yards on this. Maybe, uh, maybe they measure it and and they, they're short or whatever but he comes up and doesn't wrap up delivers a big hit doesn't wrap up now Tyreek Hill loses more yards and because of him not wrapping up first down now shortly after that this happened 242 maybe what two minutes later maybe if that bam drops a dime to Kelsey what I will show you is how um, Clark was manipulated by Mahomes' eyes on this play. This is Clark right here. I'm going to pause it when I, when I want you to, to look at him. He drops back. He has cover two. Now, because Mahomes, I stopped it too late. Let me go back and show you where I want to stop it. Right there. See Mahomes looking over here? Mahomes knows so damn well he's not throwing his ball over here. Mahomes is going to Kelsey. And so by him not looking, instead of Clark sinking to where he should be, because, you know, middle of the field is kind of one of your vulnerable, vulnerable spots in cover two. He should be dropping over here. He's looking at Mahomes' eyes thinking he can't get the ball over there. So now when he comes back, Kelsey has all that room to run. So he just throws it to the back pylon. Kelsey's not even challenged. Simple. Simple. Because of his eyes. But if we stop that third 19, that doesn't happen. Next play. This is Mahomes' no-look pass. Got this guy crossing right here. Who's going to get the ball? Bam. 
Humphrey comes over here. It's even, to me, it's even clearer on here. But I will stop it right before Mahomes throws that no-look pass so you can kind of see where his eyes are. All right. This thing is in the way, God dog. It. I look at his eyes. If, you, if, you, if I had a projection, I could project where his eyes are going. They're right here. That's why this linebacker is sitting there. That's why he's closing. But he's going to throw the ball over here. Zoop. That's some good stuff right there. And he knows it. He knows it. That swag right there, it was impeccable on that one. He knew he did something good. But now, look at that strip. Ball's out. Now Humphreys has it. He's going to roll over with it. That wasn't even viewed, or challenged, or, or anything. They should have called the turnover to look at it, to see if it was a turnover or not. But these two guys pushed that up, and I don't want to get into what I think about the refs for this game. All right, the next play is a duck to Hill. So here's Tyreek Hill. Here's Weddle. Some kind of way Weddle's going to end up on Tyreek Hill. And we're going to get pressure off the edge by, by Peanut. He's going to have a free reign to hit Mahomes. And he's just going to throw a duck. And Weddle is not athletic enough to go get it. He got lucky against Julio last week. He did a great job of knocking the ball down. That Julio clearly went up and got. You see Peanut coming free right there. Right here, he's free. Mahomes is going to stand in the pocket. I'm going to throw it to my best guy, see if he can go get it. Now, here you have your one-on-one. -on -one. Got your one-on-one -on -one right there. Weddle knows it's a duck. Tyreek Hill has to find it. He slips right there. Missed times his jump right there. And just luckily to, to rip it out of there. The good part, he was able to rip it out. Here's Weddle up here on the top of your screen. Chasing Tyreek, chasing Tyreek. Slip. Missed time of the jump. And let me just try to get it out of there. That should have been an interception. Any younger, more athletic guy uh, would have gotten that ball or uh, at least got better position on Tyreek Hill to try to get it. The, the only thing Weddle has going for him right now is his uh, experience and his football IQ. Now that he has a great football IQ, he might have just, get, just starting to take over for him. All right, this play on our side, it is, let's see the time. 8.25 left in the fourth quarter, score 17-17. This drive, if I'm not mistaken, started on like the three-yard line, and I was thinking we could just run it down their throat, get a touchdown late in the game. Second and 10. One of Lamar's better throws, in my opinion. I'm going to throw an out route to Crabtree. Crabtree stutters. Bam. He has a hand extended right there, but this guy's grabbing it. Good throw. First down. Here goes the flag right here. Here goes the flag. I don't see it. I'm going to play it in live action so you guys can see it. Focus down here on Crabtree. Tell me what you think. Down in the comments, tell me what you think about this. Is this pass interference or not? I don't think so. We see a lot more, that, more than that on almost every other play in the NFL. There goes the flag. All right. Now, I don't have a film on, but what happened next is I think we had a false start. Uh, some simple. We had a diamond formation. We threw it to Ty Montgomery. He got like two yards. Then we had uh, third and super long, like third 20-something, and we dropped the pass to one of the tight ends. And that gave the ball, gave KC the ball back with like six-something left. And they, like, granted, we didn't, they didn't do anything with it, but we could have marched down the field and at least had got it to the two-minute warning with maybe Tuck getting a field goal, if not a touchdown of our own from running the ball. My next one. Hmm. See what down it is? Do I even need to say any more? Look at that. Fourth and nine. We all know what happened here. I'm going to just let it play. Hmm. I will say, keep in mind, all this damage was done after Tyreek Hill hurt his heel. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Now, here's Mahomes. Chased down by two, three Ravens. The guy just throws this ball here. And we have, uh, this is C.J. Mosley. I'm not sure who this is. And I think this is Weddle right here trying to come in and close the gap. Ball's in the air. Mosley can't get there. Uh, that's Jimmy Smith's right there. 
Okay, Weddle. You know, right now he caught the ball, so if he tackles them now, it doesn't matter. They got the fourth and nine, and they go on to, to win the game. That would have been the game for them, though, because shortly after that, they got that uh, touchdown with, like, 57 seconds left, and um, everybody wants to blame Mosley on that play, but it was a good call versus what we had called. We had man coverage call. Mosley had the back. They had trips to the right against man, and they just ran everybody to the middle of the field. And it set up a natural pick, and Mosley couldn't shift, sift through all that to get to the running back. It was a great offensive call based off what we had called defensively. I don't think any player is at fault for that last touchdown. This is Mahomes' phone that I wish we could have picked up. Got great pressure. Look at this hole. I don't think they got one holding call. Watch Fisher with the hole. Fisher is right here. It's a takedown. It's a takedown if I've ever seen one. And this is just hustling. These guys hustling to get the sack. It's hard to stop on a dime like that, especially at Suggs' Sug age. I wish he could have got it, but uh, he didn't. And number eight on the thing was a ton of missed tackles. I just stuck this picture in here to show you, you know, some of the, the missed tackles from there. I think this is the missed tackle on fourth and nine when Mosley tried to dive at the ball. Uh, it's a bunch of things happen. Refs were a part of this. I should have put them on there, but I didn't. We didn't win. I'm still proud of the effort. Uh, these are my eight reasons why I think we lost uh, Ravens Roundup Part 2. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Comment on in the um, – sorry, comment below to why you think we lost on top of these eight reasons I gave you. Again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Ravens Roundup.